Puff at her in our shed here. Get a snake on his table and then this thing is alive. It's a pretty one. <laughs> All right, we have that in a and I'll let it go somewhere over here. Snake activity is definitely picking up mm. considering that's like that's two in two days almost for me now. For sure. This is probably a fine place to put them. Yeah, let's put them in a bush over here. Oh, next to a bush. Oh. Let's get that. See, Neat. Oil it nicely. Definitely ready to spread. Oh, it's pretty. I didn't think that they were this pretty in the, in the low belt. This is head. I guess that's probably the strategy. Kicked a bush while getting back into the car. This is why you don't wear sandals out in the, in the bush. All right, there you have it. There was a uh, puff adder. I hadn't even brushed my teeth yet. I was just grabbing breakfast. Um, but removed that, moved it down the street. Uh, for context, uh, they're pretty. Usually, I, I don't know. Like that one struck a little bit, but they're usually a little bit more tame. Um, they like to stay still and not move much. They are considered to be the snake responsible for the most serious snake bites in Southern Africa, mostly because of how widespread and sometimes locally abundant they are and the fact that they don't really move before you step on them. Um, and it's a pretty nasty bite. It's uh, basically gonna rot your flesh away. So um, pretty, pretty intense, but uh, not not anything too serious in terms of uh, ability to bite you if, you're, if you know what you're doing. But uh, anyway, we're going to uh, set up some drift fences for a project um, later today, so I'm going to get back to you guys when we're doing that. busy digging our drift fences and we kicked up a nice rhombic egg eater. This beauty! Super, super cool. Definitely a snake I wanted to see. 
That's awesome. Cool. I've got beautiful eyes. Wow. Yeah. A stout head too. Yeah. I'm gonna take some pictures of them. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, shotgun. Oh, yeah, yeah. So cool. We're going to let him go now. Hey, what are you doing in our kitchen, huh? Hmm? Huh, bud? Get out of our kitchen. What are you doing, man? Get out of here. I see you back there. Hey, dude, come on. These things are ridiculous. All right, this guy over here. Now on the move. Anyway, this guy is a uh, bush baby, which is a funny kind of creature. <laughs> I just touched him on the tail. He freaked out. But he's gone up this tree over here. Mm. Well, he's somewhere up there, but uh, oh. somewhere on there. Climb out the tree. These guys are called bush babies though, because they make this call in the middle of the night. It's like, rah, 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 rah. it's super loud. That sounds like a baby crying. Uh, and we're in the bush, so there you go. <laughs> we're gonna look around for some stuff though. All right. Well, uh, just to uh, wrap things up from today, uh, uh, we're done with our day of field work. It got cut short because. We had to rush into the car and uh, got caught in a massive hailstorm and there were a bunch of flash floods and stuff like that and hail was like the size of uh, like ping pong balls, it was nuts. Um, I wish I got it on video because it was insane inside the uh, closed off GDV when we pulled down all the, uh, all the flaps and whatever. Uh, but my camera I put and all my stuff I put up in the passenger seat so that it didn't get wet because uh, it was about to get messy. But uh, we managed to get out of there without getting trapped by any of the flash floods and uh, we're back here. Uh, another storm hit with some smaller hail and uh, yeah so uh, tomorrow we're going to continue setting up drift fences and we're going to check the ones that we already set up. Um, and hopefully we get some more snakes. Uh, maybe I'll make a video out of tomorrow, but if not, um, I'm sure I'll have some cumulative footage from the next couple days. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, look out for more. <laughs>